Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, quick update on another strong flare coming in on the sun. Uh, it is about 2.47 p.m. California time here. January 3rd, 2025 is the date. Uh, got a secondary X flare coming in, so that marks the uh, second X flare so far this year. Still going up here. Let me see what we got in terms of the magnitude up around the X 1.1 currently. But it doesn't look like it's peaked out there yet. Oh, maybe it has. I'll take that back. X 1.12 to be exact. That pretty much matches our previous X flare. Just a little bit uh, less than that. But that's a uh, pretty strong flare out there. You can see it quite nicely here on the UV filter. Um, this is behind a few minutes. About 10 minutes or so. Uh, so the peak just coming in. We'll wait for that to update. As uh, far as any uh, major earthquake activity since this morning's update, still looking uh, roughly about the same here. Haven't seen any uh, large earthquake activity. Southern California is starting to kick up a little bit down here in the red circles, uh, focusing in here on this segment of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, nothing big going on out there across the West Coast for now. A little increasing activity, though, here across Northern California with a handful of earthquakes in the two and three range had a 3.6 out here this morning that uh, a little bit further back along the plate boundary here and that's uh, a little bit of migration further off uh, the coast towards the Pacific here and that's kind of uh, uh, the far side of that swarm aftershock swarm we should say following that seven pointer uh, a while back these guys showing uh, roughly about 500 earthquakes here. And, of course, that only includes uh, the ones that they have been showing here. The seven-pointer largest is going to be a 5.3 from this earthquake. Uh, struck there on the 5th of uh, December. There's that 5.3 aftershock. But uh, I guarantee there's probably a lot more earthquakes than uh, what's being reported here. And I say that because there's only a handful of ones that they accounted for here. Uh, maybe more than a handful, but for every 3.0 magnitude, you're going to see double uh, the two-pointers. And for every two-pointer, you're going to see double the one-pointers. And on this case here, they're only showing a small fraction of 1.0 earthquakes here, uh, if you look down the list. So there's probably a couple hundred earthquakes at least missing from this uh, sequence of events. And periodically, we do see that showing up on the seismograph stations there around Petrolia, but nothing being reported. So just kind of a, a little note there. Uh, some movement out around the New Madrid seismic zone today. One earthquake down around the San Antonio area. This is outside of San Antonio. Uh, I believe that is associated with some oil fields out there. Let's go ahead and zoom in. It's a major area. Obviously, look, uh, quite a few oil fields being reported there on the map. The satellite imagery, as we zoom in here, uh, very close to a cluster of uh, pumping operations out there. Some wastewater disposal ponds and uh, quite active out there today. That will continue into the future. Some of these earthquakes out in Texas can get in the uh, lower five range around the oil fields. But right now, just keeping it fairly minimal. Some twos and occasional threes out there. Uh, nothing else going on around the globe in terms of large movement. Still keeping an eye here on the Ethiopia area. I've seen a video floating around. I shared it, uh, in fact, on uh, Facebook and my YouTube post account of some uh, steam and uh, looks like some debris, like mud or something, spewing up out of a small fracture in the ground around this area. Now, whether that is, uh, you know, it's hard to say if that's actually a legit video, an older video, or from somewhere else. Uh, so I'm not not going to include that yet until I find out the actual, um, if it's uh, verified or not. But there's still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity out here. The last one of 5.5 uh, in the Ethiopia, Eth Ethiopia, there we go, rift boundary. A uh, real quick glance here at the space weather activity once again. Uh, they have not, well... <clears throat> Looks like they've updated it a little bit, but uh, still behind somewhat here on the image. Refresh that, double double check. It should be a little bit more spectacular looking here. This is at 2230 and it's now 2251, uh, so it's still a little bit behind. But on the flare chart, we're definitely going down. 
uh, into the M flare category. But we'll continue to watch this as we're looking at uh, somewhat of a uh, you know an elevated chance here of seeing further X flare activity. This second X flare is from that sunspot over there on the northeastern quadrant of the sun. That's the second X flare that this sunspot has produced. And that's going to be sunspot number ooh, 3947. This was from um, earlier. 3947 here, obviously a little bit more um, lit up, as you can see here on the sun. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. I'm not for sure exactly how complex it is because our complexity model is offline in terms of uh, the colored image. Hard to tell, though, in the black and white image, but obviously, you know, if I were to base it, it's definitely quite complex, but I miss the, uh, man, I miss the colored image here. All right, folks, um, we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. I just wanted to jump in real quick with this latest uh, flare update. Nothing major going on there across the, uh, the planet for now in terms of large-scale earthquake activity, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later.